as we step into the political landscape of 2024 and presidential hopefuls gear up for the initial round of voting, early indications from polls strongly suggest a potential replay of the closely watched 2020 election. Former President Donald Trump continues to commandeer state and national polling averages, boasting nearly 63% in the GOP primary nationwide. This puts him comfortably ahead of former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, who secures the second position with 11%, and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis at 10.9%, according to Real Clear Politics average of national polls as of Wednesday afternoon. Tech entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy, 4.3%, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, 3.3%, and former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson, 0.8%, complete the roster of Republican candidates. In the crucial state of Iowa, where the Republican Party's first 2024 contest is slated for January 15th, Trump commands a significant lead over DeSantis with 51.3% to 18.6%, according to the RCP average. Haley holds the third position in the state at 16.1%. Moving on to New Hampshire, the first in the nation primary, Trump's lead is slightly narrower standing at 46.3% against Haley's 24.8% with DeSantis, 9.5%, polling in fourth place behind Christie, 10.5%. On the Democratic front, President Joe Biden facing a primary challenge from self-help author Marianne Williamson and Representative Dean Phillips maintains a strong position with 69% support within his party. Williamson trails with 8%, while Phillips garners 3%, according to the RCP average of national polls. Polls forecasting a potential rematch between Trump and Biden indicate a lead for the former president, although many fall within the margin of error. The RCP average as of Wednesday afternoon shows Trump leading Biden 46.5% to 44.3%, with recent polls by Morning Consult and Economist slash YouGov from the last weekend either depicting Trump in the lead by one point or in a tie with Biden. A recent survey by USA Today and Suffolk University highlights a shift in support among two crucial demographics, favoring Trump over Biden. Among Hispanics, Biden receives 34% support compared to Trump's 39%, a significant turn from Biden's 65% support within this group during the 2020 election, as reported by The Hill. Additionally, Biden's support among young voters has dwindled, with the poll indicating Trump leading 37% to 35%. In 2020, Biden secured the young vote with a 24-point margin. In addition to his lead in the polls, Trump has garnered substantial endorsements from key Republican figures this week, including Senator Tom Cotton, Republican from Arkansas, and Representative Tom Emmer, Republican from Minnesota, solidifying his support among House leadership. House Speaker Mike Johnson, Republican from Louisiana, endorsed Trump in November, and House Republican Conference Chairwoman Elise Stefanik, Republican from New York, declared her support for the former president even before his official announcement to run again in 2024. Hi, I'm Alex. Political correctness is limiting open discussions and our right to be informed. That's why my channel was created. Get ready for unfiltered insights, news and analysis you won't always find in mainstream media. Make sure to subscribe.